segment, Kendall Toy interviews with BPA President Jaden B. And later, Adeline Michaels gets insight on how a local business has survived during COVID-19. Coming up soon, so let's do Larson. Welcome back to Eagle TV. My name is Felicity Larson. Our first story today will cover the services Big Sky BPA students have been doing for our community. Missoula County has just funded the production of a brand new homeless shelter set to open in 2021. Let's go to Kendall Toy reporting live at Big Sky High School where students are currently tying blankets together for the shelter. Thank you, Solisti. I'm currently here at Big Sky High School with the new BPA program. I'm here with the new chapter president, Jaden Bede. They are currently tying blankets for the new Southside Homeless Shelter that's set to open in early 2021. So, tell me, Jaden, what is the BPA program and what are you guys planning to do with the, for the community? So our new BPA program has replaced our previous DECA program. The DECA program unfortunately only incorporated those who wanted to be a part of business. However, we realized that as a community, we were missing a large demographic of business being media. What we're doing for the community today is we're tying blankets for the new opening homeless shelter in 2021, as you explained. And how many blankets have you tied so far? Right now, we're sitting at about 40 blankets. We hope to tie a little bit more. However, our goal was 40, and the reason that this is is because the newly opening homeless shelter has a capacity of 40 residents, if you will. And so this helps them because they can give one blanket to at least every resident to help get them on their feet because they need basic materials like this because, again, they're just opening in 2021. And what motivated your BPA chapter to do this for the community? What motivated us to choose this over other things, as well as helping out with Huckleberry people, is we really wanted to do something hands-on. We didn't just want to hand money over to the shelter, because although, yes, that can help, it's so not personal. And we really wanted to put our own spin on it. We wanted our entire chapter to be involved in it over a number of days or weeks, as it's something that is, has a genuine need at the shelter. And so by giving it, we are helping them in so many different ways, especially with the weather currently. Thank you, Jaden. Heading back to you, Solicity. Thank you, Kendall. We move on now to a story about a local business finding their way during COVID-19. Many businesses during this time have found it difficult to adapt to the changes brought on by the virus, and local painting business, Painting with a Twist, has been no exception to this. Starting as a fundraiser to help the victims of Hurricane Katrina, this business strives on servicing the community as well as providing an escape to its consumers. Field reporter Adeline Michaels discusses how the pandemic has influenced owner Tyra McDonald and her struggle to keep Penning with a Twist alive. Take a look. How many of you have been in here before? All businesses during this time have had to adapt to the new ways of COVID, whether through cleaning procedures, mask mandates, or social distancing rules. Okay, so if people sign up for a class and they say they want to sit next to each other, we assume that they are commonly around each other and we sit them next to each other, like two feet apart. Our artists also won't enter personal space unless requested. So it's been a huge change for us as artists because we're very, like all of us that work here are super social. Along with social distancing rules, cleaning procedures have changed drastically. So after every class, um, the first thing that we do is we um, wash all the brushes with soap and water, the cups with soap and water, uh, the paper's taken off of the tables, the tables are bleached, we spray down the easels, so everything is um, uh, continually bleached in the studio. Tyra McDonald has also had to reduce painting with a twist seating capacity, as well as provide virtual classes to replace in-person classes. We've had to reduce our seating to one-third capacity, um, so that, that's that been a big, pretty big hit to us. And then um, we also have a twist at home option where they can um, get a video for us. We have a select amount of artwork where people can get a video and we give them a password and they can replay it as many times as they want and go as slow or fast as they want. Being a small business, Painting with a Twist has found it difficult to stay financially stable during the pandemic. Financially, it's been awful. I think all small businesses have been very affected, um, just shutting down even for a small amount of time for a small business is pretty detrimental. If we did have to close our doors, we would have to still pay our loan payment to SBA and also our house payment and also our vehicle payments. Like we're just trying to survive. Like all small businesses are trying to survive right now. It's great to see a small business maintain itself as well as paying with a twist has. Hopefully <laughs> taking it one month at a time will see them long into the future. Back on over to you, Solicity. Thank you, Adeline. That's all we have for today's show. Thank you from all of us at Eagle TV. I'm Solicity Larson. Have a great day.